Welcome to week four of Vlogmas and from someone who completely forgot to start the vlog in the morning. It's already Saturday night. It's almost seven o'clock at night. Levi has already gone to sleep and this face here, this tired face here, has a lot of work to do. We woke up in the morning. We did a gift exchange with our friend. We were supposed to have breakfast with Santa in the morning with our friends, but we kind of cancelled it. As in, we naturally cancelled it because of what was going on with the new variants and everything. You know, we wanted to be safe and sorry. So we cancelled that. Instead, um, we exchanged gifts. Lakshman went and dropped off the gifts to them and they then gave their gifts for Levi. I'll show you in a minute what it is, okay? It's super cute. It's really nice. So that was that. And then we rushed to the wedding because we didn't want to be late. Um, we were going to leave halfway we weren't going to stay for the reception but we ended up staying back for the reception it was so nice actually it was a lot of fun really small intimate wedding but very very meaningful and it was so nice so we stayed until the end came back home at about six o'clock but levi put him to sleep he had a time of his life today actually he had so much fun he was playing around smiling at everyone and then eating well not sleeping so much at all so he was obviously very tired he's gone to bed early I now have a load of stuff everywhere. I packed things, but I left it in different places because I didn't want to gather everything and crowd one area of the house. So I need to get all of the last minute bits and pieces, pack it up neatly because this OCD person cannot randomly dump things here and there. So we're going to load the car tonight and then we are going to hopefully leave early in the morning. But before I go to pack, I'm going to show you the gifts that Levi got today. The first one in the gift bag was this. This is for us, for Lakshman and I. It's um, a tea collection. There's a lot of different varieties. I can see it at the back. There's tipi Assam, mango and something else. English rose, Earl Grey, English breakfast, mint, afternoon tea and jasmine tea. It looks so good. Look, it's actually quite big. I haven't even opened it, so I don't know how many packs are there in each one. Oh, there's 20 sachets such a good gift idea this couple who always gives us gifts every year they are so good at their gifts you know i never know where they get their gifts from that's one and then we got this box of chocolates it is so tempting i'm gonna save it until we come back though because obviously if we open it now we're gonna finish it tonight for sure and the box looks so good and this is for Levi. This was a surprise. We didn't expect this at all. It's a drum kit. Let me show you the picture of it so you have a better idea. Look at that. It's actually for 18 months old. However, Levi loves banging on the drums and there are bits and pieces of it that he can already use now, you know. There are 13 pieces. It's like a musical kit sort of a thing. And he hasn't seen it yet. I'm obviously going to save it until slightly later. And this is a couple. They've got a baby boy of their own. I mean, he's no longer a baby now. He's already five years old. Five and a half, I think. When he was younger, Lakshan and I gave him a drum kit. It was a different kind of a drum kit. Apparently, he loved it so much that he wouldn't stop banging it. Because he loved it so much, the house is obviously very noisy that he kept playing it. So they are returning the favor to us now. <laughs> we can listen to Levi banging this. There's a keyboard here as well. Look at that. That's so clever. And all of the other equipment fits in here. Such a good thing. And we got some chocolates. No, some brownies. Which we can use for the journey for tomorrow. And we got a pretty little card. Look at this card. It's one of those pop-up ones. And it's so cute. I think it's time for a bigger car. I was going to show you everything upstairs, but yeah, we kind of rushed and packed everything. There are two IKEA bags, two plastic bags full of our shoes, Levi's bag, and two suitcases in there. Everything is like super compact. You can't see anything at all. Plus, we have stuff inside also. That bag has all of Levi's toys that I'm going to use during the journey. And we've got, where is it? That's missing. Oh yeah, that's his um, booster seat up there in front. And I have his changing bag to come.
first service station, fairly successful. Took us more than half an hour though. We only aimed to be here for half an hour. But it took us longer. And first time parking in a parent and child parking space. Ready for round two. Levi, are you ready for the next two hours? Yeah. Hey. Yes, you are. Well done. setting on the other side is that perfect full moon it doesn't really show properly in the video but it looks so beautiful second stop now at the second service and we are right on track it's 9 15 at the moment Levi's already finished his breakfast um just waiting for him to stretch out a bit of it and then we'll probably leave in about 10 15 minutes maybe and we'll reach as estimated he's been so good you've been so good haven't you yeah yeah he slept for a while and then he woke up and he played a little bit and then towards the end of the two hours is where he gets a little bit agitated he wants to get out and that's perfect timing for us to stop as well the next last bit of the journey is not too long it'll probably be an hour and 15 minutes and that's it and we'll reach home half 10 and we have reached levi levi we are home baby I somehow stopped vlogging as soon as we came home. It was only bits and pieces that I recorded. And then it's just, it was back to back. There was so much going on. I myself was overwhelmed because we brought so many things for Diva and I had to set up everything in my mother's house so that it's comfortable and convenient for us. We already have a process there in Bristol and I needed to create that process here. But somehow I still haven't got it. It's already, what day is it today? It's Monday. We reached yesterday on Sunday. It's already Monday, 5 o'clock in the evening and yeah, I still haven't got my process. We went to my in-laws house in the evening for a while and then this morning we did a family photo shoot. We went to the Uni of Glasgow and did a few photo shoots and everything. We were freezing. I'll probably tell you a little bit more story about it later on but because we were freezing and I was trying to, you know, um, pacify Levi and comfort him because it was outdoors and it was super cold and he just wasn't used to it. He was crying quite a bit also. So I didn't even pick up my camera to record anything at all, but it was a fun experience. I will talk to you about it at some time in the near future. I've gone out to buy a few things for tomorrow's open day, which I was really looking forward to, but we had to make a few changes in accordance with the new laws that we can only have uh, two other households before Christmas. During Christmas, it's not applicable, but during Christmas, it's just going to be, you know, my family and Lakshman's family. That's it. Nothing else at all. So, yeah, I've done some grocery and stuff for that. I need to do the prep tonight and tomorrow will be the open day. My elves are working hard for tomorrow's prep. Hello. Good morning. We borrowed this high chair from my in-laws yesterday. Look at how he's sitting. Are you comfortable? Do you like sitting like this? This is fun? He's not very impressed, he's hungry. <laughs> I just started recording and I was going to say something. My mother and Lashon are making fun of me in the background about how I start and how I talk. Last time when I was filming something, my mom thought I was talking to someone on the phone. And Lashon was teasing me saying I was recording something for YouTube. Anyway, we have just started putting things away and kind of sorting things out for the open day. It's finally the open day. I started making plans for this like a month ago, I think, in November or something like that. Um, we have a few people confirmed what time they're going to come and everything. So I'm just going to get ready for it. And I'm putting things away. At the moment, I'm doing this savory snacks, this one from Lidl. It is so tempting to eat it. And my mother's kitchen is right in the heart of the house. That's a living room that side and that's a dining area of my bedroom. And that's a way to the bathroom as well. So we always walk the entire corridor when we're walking past the house. Our biggest fear now is that we will end up eating it instead of our guests when we're walking past. Because the table is set up in such a convenient location for us to eat and munch. And this is basically going to be our food all day. I just hope we don't finish it before our guests.
guys have started to arrive, so I'm gonna go. Mask is on now, I'm gonna go and welcome them. There's so much food on the table and I choose to sit and eat this brownie here. I was so tempted to eat everything on the table. I'm not even hungry. But just because it's out there, I want to take it. We had our first guest come and go. And she was so sweet. She was already wearing her mask and standing outside. And she was like, no, I won't even carry Levi. I won't, you know, come near him or, you know, do anything like that. Didn't shake and didn't hug nothing. And it felt so new to us. You know, with the Asian community, usually when you see someone, we obviously hug them and everything. And you see a new baby, you obviously want to carry them. But it definitely takes a lot of discipline, isn't it? To follow rules and to abide by the law. So she stood far away from us. She sat far away from us. Even the gifts that she brought for Levi, she kept it on the table and didn't even give it to us directly, you know. And it just felt very awkward, but we are thankful that we're able to see people despite, you know, the new spike with um, the new variants and everything and all of this pandemic and all of these problems. Despite that, we can still see people. It's so much more better than Zoom, uh, even with the mask and everything. So that was that. I need to go and refill the table a little bit now with a few other things. Most of the stuff is still there. I just need to refill it and get ready for our next um visitors next batch of people to come and after this it's going to be kind of back to back there will be a lot more people coming one after another not a big gap so i'm going to prepare everything and put it out on the table and then what am i going to do nothing hmm i wanted to talk you through what i have on the table let's start with a fruit platter i really like this i like how colorful it is it is very Christmassy and very healthy as well We've been controlling ourselves from dipping into this especially because I want it to look nice for later also. So it's just the basics. Grapes, kiwi, raspberry, all the berries. Blackberries, blueberries, watermelon, pineapple. Anything else? No, nothing. And this chocolate, I got the Terry's Gold Chocolate Bars. Melted it in a double boiler and put it with some pomegranates. Um, it's become a little bit thick now though. I should have done something else to make it a little bit more watery, but nah, that's fine. It tastes good. good. This Terry's Gold Chocolate is so nice, orange flavoured one. That's that. Uh, this is fresh fresh veggie sticks with hummus di dips. I can't even talk today. Lakshan and mommy has a bet. My mom said that this was going to sell really, really quickly. Lakshan says no. People are going to go for everything else other than this. We will see what happens at the end of the day. This one is cucumber with uh, cream cheese and yogurt and tomatoes. The combination is so good. I don't know if you can see. My piping bag broke. So half of it I managed to pipe through and the other half the piping bag broke. So I had to use a spoon and put it on top. And it's fine actually. It looks perfectly alright. I would have preferred to use only the soft cheese so that you can see the shape. But... The yogurt, the Greek yogurt kind of cuts through the taste a little bit and makes the combination so much more better. This is just regular sandwich. I burnt it a little bit. It's a secret between you and me, okay? Just a little bit because I put it in the oven for too much. Uh, there is chicken roll in there with cheese and then spread with mustard and butter. And this is that sandwich thins rather than a regular bread. So you just put it in an oven proof dish. Put it in the oven for about 10 minutes, 180 degrees. That's waffle and chicken popcorn drizzled with mixed herb and a little bit of honey. Should have been maple syrup. I couldn't find maple syrup. And that's prawns. What prawns is that? What prawns is that, Mom? I don't know. Some prawns from, from Lidl. Just put it in the oven. These are the mixed snacks that you get from Lidl as well. Cupcakes, mini cupcakes from Lidl. It's not much at all. I actually had a lot more plants, but because 
our plans had changed in the last minute with the new rules and restrictions to how many people we can have at home. A lot of people have dropped out, especially because they were either showing symptoms or they were unwell. And we wanted to be really careful anyway. So they said that, you know, we can try and arrange some other time to see. So I had to cut down the menu by half. I didn't have to make as much quantity and I didn't have to make as much variety. <laughs> Chocolate has solidified in the cold. Look at that, it's not even moving. We are going to make Santa hats, okay? Santa hats. Yeah. Yep. Okay, you can both have one cucumber each. Can I take a bite of one? Yeah, you can take a bite of another one, yeah. Okay? Alright, yeah. you want to dip your teaspoon in there? So yummy. <laughs> dip, dip a little bit, okay? Take a little bit of the cheese bread. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Good well job. Well done. Good then job. You get tomato. I don't want tomato. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that looks beautiful. See, see the video I sent. Hang on. Thank you. Mm. We are doing good, baby. One sorry. Good morning. Today is Thursday, the twenty third of December, and it's almost 8 in the morning it's not 8 o'clock yet i thought i'll quickly catch up with you before the others come down it was really nice to see people despite having to wear a mask and not you know fully expressing but it was nice to see them and everyone came bearing gifts it's only the 23rd of december i mean it's early in the morning so today is not really counted we came sunday afternoon so we had sunday afternoon monday tuesday Wednesday, which was yesterday, and today is Thursday. Four days, okay? Let's say three and a half days, and let me show you how much gifts Liba has accumulated. This much, and that's half hidden. That's a super huge paper bag. There's about six, seven paper bags in there, and some of the gifts over there. Those, you know, the gold wrapper, the three of them are not his, uh, and the two of them are not his, so... But other than that, yeah, everything else is his. He obviously has no idea about the gifts whatsoever. He doesn't appreciate anything yet. He's just more than happy to play with whatever he has. And he enjoys like one-on-one -on -one time. Uh, but other than that, he's a bit too young to understand all of these commotions and everything. This boy is truly, truly well left. By the way, this is Levi's big head. I woke up like this, look. Literally rolled out of bed. Our friend has been playing a lot at night these days. We haven't been going out anywhere else at all. We wanted to take him out to a shopping mall locally so he can see lights and new places. But we're kind of busy preparing maybe for Christmas because Christmas is going to be in my mother's house. and Christmas dinner is going to be here in my mother's house. But other than that, we are also trying to, you know, stay protected. Um, not going out, not meeting too many people and all that so that we don't ruin Christmas Day for us. So yeah, that's about it actually. Today we have another family coming to visit Levi and us probably because they couldn't make it on Tuesday. So this is a setup in our bed at the moment. That entire section is Levi's. I would normally use this pillow to barricade this side off so that he doesn't roll down. And see the blue section there, the blue duvet, that's my section. And the other duvet on top, and that one is Lakshman's. His eye bed is under the bed, so he uses that to sleep in the living room. This boy, I would lay him this way, so head up here and feet down there. That's his sleeping bag, by the way. He rolls his way around and he lies like this. And this morning, he was knocking himself against the headboard, trying to roll the other side. Uh, 
Come here, my little baby shark. <laughs> this is Aksha, niece number one. She's come to get some one on one time with Levi. Whenever we go to their house, there's always too many people. There are three nieces in their house, and everyone wants a little bit of Levi all the time. So Aksha never really gets so much time with him on her own, and she's the older, so she really wants to sit and play with him. She's got her own time to come and sit and play, and she's enjoying herself. All I wanted was a simple hot drink before going to bed, but now I've ended up as a nominator person to make hot chocolate for everyone while Akshin's watching TV and Mummy's chopping vegetables. Do you remember this label maker? I bought this for Levi's sake at the beginning of the year. Now it's come in handy for every single thing. We have already started preparing for Christmas dinner since we haven't really got uh, so much time to prepare everything on Christmas Day. We started chopping stuff tonight. So I've labeled everything so that it's easier to cook tomorrow and we don't get confused with the ingredients. And it's come in so handy. Everyone is making fun of me for it. And now my mother says it's so good. <laughs> You'll take a baby. Let's go to Levi. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas Eve! Do you want to say something? Yeah, you're wishing Happy Christmas Eve as well? Yeah! Happy Christmas Eve! The house is a little bit chaotic. Okay, Last night we were chopping everything, Lakshman. Lakshman had one station, my mother had one station, I had one station. So all of us were doing different things, preparing everything for Saturday, for Christmas Day itself. And then we slept so late. We had this really nice hot chocolate. Uh, you know the chocolate bars that I bought for the open day? Obviously, we didn't finish it that day. You know, the dips that I wanted to do for, um, for, for, for the fruit platter. It wasn't finished at all, so we kept it in the Tupperware. And then yesterday, I added it to boiled milk. And it was so good. It's actually better than the one in Starbucks and, and Costa even. Um, and Lakshan was saying this morning, he wanted that again this morning, but my mom is making ginger tea for him. If you can hear banging downstairs, that's my mother smashing ginger for the ginger tea. She brews her ginger tea for like some ridiculous half an hour, one hour or something like that. And apparently it's really tasty. I don't even drink um, tea or coffee, so I don't know how it is. So now, Every morning at 10 o'clock, they are going to have ginger tea, they meaning Lakshman and my mother, and apparently every night, they now want to have hot chocolate also. <sighs> I don't know what size we are going to be when we leave Glasgow next week. But having said that, um, yeah, tonight is Christmas jumper day. Uh, and this is the first time I am actually going to be wearing like a Christmas jumper. It's not really a proper Christmas jumper per se, but it's got that feel a little bit. And because Levi has a Christmas jumper, obviously I want to match. Every single day ever since we came, I've been matching with him. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Today? Yeah. I am wearing yesterday's because I don't want to wear my Christmas jumper throughout the whole day and ruin it. So I'm just going to change into my jumper in the evening. Uh, so that will be our Christmas jumper day today. And today, my mother has a very busy day of cooking and prepping a lot more things. Levi has already gone down to sleep. Lakshman is putting him down to sleep. He has unfortunately developed a lot of sleep crutches all over again now because it's a new place. He feels insecure and he's at that age where he's going through a separation anxiety also. He only wants to be with either me or Lakshman. And he wants to be either carried or he wants to be rocked to sleep. You know, I was in my in-laws place two days ago and he had his nap there in the afternoon. Because it's a new place, he didn't want to go to sleep on his own. So I carried him and rocked him a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. And he fell asleep almost immediately. From that night onwards, he wants to be carried to sleep. And last night and the night before, 
he when he woke up in the middle of the night he's been like you know randomly waking up in the middle of the night and because i sleep in, i sleep with him in in the room um i am the one obviously waking up with him and when i try to put him back to sleep i don't need to carry him again but i need to put my hand on him and i need to go and lie down next to him he wants to cuddle up into me and he holds on to me you know he either holds on to my hand or he holds on to my t-shirt my pajama like that forcefully until he falls asleep he falls asleep within a couple of minutes but he wants to hold on to me so that he can sleep i'm a little bit worried that this is going to become a habit because we've got another week but it is what it is we i can't help it we just cannot do anything else at all so when we go back to bristol i really hope he hasn't forgotten his cot because everything has changed here the direction the bed the cot everything he loves his cot so much and he hasn't seen his cot when he wakes up from his cot he turns to his right or his left and we are there and he feels secure and he's fine but because i sleep at the feet so he sleeps um let's say he sleeps horizontally whichever direction you're looking at the bed so he sleeps this way and i sleep this way so he cannot see me at all unless i get up and go and lie down next to yeah. him i suppose that's the only explanation i can find for this and that is such a long winded way of explaining things i don't know why but yeah i i don't know why i had the necessity i, I don't know why i felt the necessity to explain all of those things but Yeah, that is what it is. Whatever it is, I hope um you've had a good time. By the time this video goes up, you would have already finished your Christmas and everything. But I hope this video helps you relive your Christmas Eve memories or your you know your whole Christmas week or month or whatever it is. Isn't it? Is it that long?